There you go, that's the uh, square wave from DCO2 and the uh, sawtooth from DCO1. And if I change the tuning off, there you go, I can switch the octaves. Over a two octave range on DCO1 only, I can do the same on DCO2. And I can also add detune to DCO2. There's DCO2 detuning. This is all done over MIDI CCs to the uh, to the Pico. And that's a simplified view of the oscillator. You've got obviously the MIDI in, Pico, two ADE, nine eight three threes, some amplification and inversion to get the um, triangle wave in a suitable status that it will actually trigger the um, SEM3340 conversion. I've had to put these pots on to adjust it because it is a quite a fine adjustment and I haven't worked out the exact values of the resistors yet. So these these basically just add an offset so that the uh, AS, well it's an AS3340 so they trigger. Uh, that's just a pulse width control to inject a voltage for the pulse width. And then you've got two AS3340s um, with no tuning at all, just simply injecting um, triangle into pin 11 via a 1k resistor. Um, I found that on the FM input, which allowed me to get higher frequencies, I only needed the uh, biasing resistor, the 1.2 meg to plus 15. If I attach the 470 ohm and the 1, 10 nanofarad to ground, as shown in the uh, data sheet then it didn't work at all it just didn't go into conversion mode so although the 470 ohm and the 10 nanofarad capacitors are there and there I've actually cut the leg of each of those 470 ohms so that the circuit works it's not easy to see but yeah you can see better the legs are broken I've had to do that um, so I'm quite happy with that I've got pulse width modulation which I can adjust There's the pulse width. DCO2. It's actually adjusting DCO1 as well because I haven't done separate ones yet. What I will do in the final design, obviously, PWM for DCO1 and DCO2 will be separate. Um, so you don't have to feed any modulation in because all the modulation will be handled by the um, by the Pico or the RP2040 clone. Um, it's not a Pico, it's a wave share zero. And I will also endeavour to add portamento to that as well because um, at the moment there's no portamento in the in the code, so I need to build in the portamento so each note will work. It does actually respond to pitch bend, as I've found out. Pitch bend goes up an octave in each down and up and down an octave, so I should be able to use another MIDI CC to set that into um, semitones as well, which I've done previously on the design. So I'll work on that. So now I've got a working prototype, I can actually uh, figure out the few extra bits and pieces, like another MIDI CC for semitone settings. And also, I think what I need to do is is uh, add an interval. For, for DCO2 as well, so they can set in, in fifths and things. I think that's useful. If you set an interval, um, that's fairly easy to do. Um, and that's about it, really. I think I'm ready to, to rock and roll and, and move on to the next stages.